it's Veruna Web Kaiju here, and requested by Sandra Matute. Again, sorry if I'm messing up your name. This is The War in Space. No kaiju again, but another Toho film featuring many veteran actors from the genre, and a director who also directed multiple Godzilla movies. The War in Space is a 1977 science fiction movie that sees aliens invading Earth and our protagonists then resume work on a super ship to combat them with. First off, I love flying subs with drills and the wire work on it, the flying saucers and the jets are very well done, I don't recall seeing a single visible wire. The city destruction scenes are fantastic, as well as the explosions on Venus. I'm going to complain about a lot of these aspects in general later on, but the scene where the Goten's secret weapon is used has somewhat interesting science fiction. An emotional connection to a couple of characters is accompanied by very fitting music and ends in some great explosions. Definitely my favorite part of the movie. I like a lot of the scene composition. A lot of wide shots showing the viewer details in both the fore and the background. Sometimes a conversation goes on in the far side of the screen and then later on someone comes in from the other side and the shot is allowed to stay constant, which I like. The scientists are actually smart here, not just in their craft or formulas, but in making observations and assessing situations. At one point, aliens try to casually trick them before it's revealed that an attack is even happening, but they see through it. There's a corridor scene which has a very similar aesthetic to the opening scene in the original Star Wars, but at least it's done well. In the dub I watch, yes I normally watch dubs, they call the giant spaceship a galleon, and I don't think I've ever heard anyone else call any space or aircraft that before. Though to be fair, it does look a lot more like a boat with sails than all the other vehicles, and I do like the way it looks. All these quick cuts to UFOs flying, it's headache inducing, and it happens more than once in the film. The movie is kinda boring. The plot isn't too interesting, nor are the characters. The science fiction for the most part isn't captivating, and the action sequences sadly aren't entertaining. The aliens themselves are extremely disappointing. Being humanoid is fine, and makes sense so that firefights can happen, but when they die, often their human skin masks come off but only to reveal a face that looks basically the same, it's just a human face painted green. From a movie with a flying drill sub, I expected a little more imagination in its antagonists. The shot of the Goten in front of the Earth is kind of wonky, and there's more bad projection work later on. The Minotaur monster is also... he just doesn't look good, and the costume for the alien boss is terrible. The camera work at times is a bit shaky. It's not terrible, but far from the quality usually found in Showa Toho movies. There's a POV scene that's choppily looped for some reason. It's not believable or fluid at all. Another aspect that's of lower quality than most Showa Toho films are the sound effects. Most are okay, but some aren't. Especially the lasers the flying saucers shoot, which sound like a dot matrix printer. The music isn't bad, I actually like a lot of the guitar, but it just doesn't fit the movie, and the songs that are there are used over and over again. And they're also not up to par with other Toho movies of the era. The War in Space isn't a terrible film, but we've just been spoiled with the quality of Showa Toho movies. And in terms of sci-fi movies in general at the time, you have the classics, and then you have everything else which is ultimately forgotten, which unfortunately is where this film lies. Thanks for watching. Hey, Jimmy! <laughs> hey, Jimmy! Welcome, baby! Miyoshi! Jimmy! <laughs> Jimmy. What?